Hello everyone, my name is Cassie and today I will talking about military diet. Military diet are also called sweet day diet and in my video first I will briefly introduce what actually the military diet mean. And second I will provide it some benefits and drawbacks of the military diet. Finally, I will give you some my personal view of this diet. So let's start. First, military diet also called three-day diet. It is a method that can help you to lose weight for 10 pounds in a week. Actually, the period of military diet is seven days. These seven days are separate into two parts. There are three days and four days. Military diet requires people to follow a low calorie for three days and then return to a regular eating for four days. People need to control the energy intake uh, less than a thousand five hundred calories per day in the first three days. The military diet is high in protein and low in fat, carbohydrates, and calories. It is also includes specific food combinations to try to boost metabolism and burn fat. In the first three days, we need to eat breakfast, lunch, and supper. We not only need to intake less than 1,500 calories in the first three days, but also we cannot eat any snacks. It is very important because we need to ensure that the Energy intake is less than energy got. But after three days in the following four days, we can eat what we want. Let's see what people can eat in these three days. So in the first day, we can eat a cup of coffee, half grapefruit and one toast with peanut butter. The total calorie for the first day breakfast are 222 calories. In the lunch, we could taste the coffee, tuna, also the toast. And we eat more in the supper, which accounted for around 463 calories. As can be said, the total calorie in day one are 857 calories, which is far lower than 1,500 calories. Next, in the day two, we can eat an egg, half bananas, and one toast for breakfast. Then in the lunch, we can eat five crackers, one cup of cheese. Next, we could eat two hot, eat two hot dogs, broccoli, carrots, bananas, ice cream for supper. So the total energy intake for the day two is seven hundred and nineteen calories. Same way in the day three. We always make sure that energy intake is some energy out. In the breakfast, it could be eat a smaller apple, five crackers, and small piece of cheese. The total calorie for breakfast are 253 calories. The total calorie for lunch are 153 calories which contain an egg and toast. The supper have 313 calories. 
so that's a fruit we can eat in these three days. We could know Danny that the military diet can lose weight quickly and efficient. The diet focuses on protein, which will increase muscle mass and provide energy for day-to-day -day activities. These are the benefits of military diet. But it also exists some drawbacks, like first, the limited nutrition intake. Second, calories are too low to exercise. It is very challenging for people to do exercise when they just eating a thousand and five hundred calories in one day. As a result, after seven days, we can lose weight for ten pounds or four point five kilogram in a week. However, this figure may be affected by a number of factors such as a health condition. And we can repeat this diet after every seven days. So here is my reference list for this video. Okay, so we know what is military diet. The period of the military diet it's seven days, which contain the first three days and the following four days. But I want to say military diet uh, both contain advantages and disadvantages. Military diet could help us to lose weight quickly, but we could not follow it for a long term. 